it's a big day. It's a big day. Ron DeSantis dropped out of the race. I did not see it coming. I are you serious? I, I saw it coming um, the whole time. Really? I just didn't know. I thought I thought he would hang in there a little while. I I just figure, oh, I'm I'm not the most political mental giant, but I just thought they had more time to sort of hang in there and pretend that they might win before mm. dropping out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew he was going to endorse Trump because if he didn't, it would have been suicide. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What would have happened? His own his own base would be like, come on, Ron. Uh, the heels were bad enough, but now you're just. <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot long. of his base don't like Trump anymore. Like they all like go at each other. And I actually made a video. I was like, why are you guys attacking each other? Like we're on the same side. Like I don't understand like why you're so hateful towards people just because they like trump and not desantis like they're both fine like they're either one would have been fine with me but i think trump deserves to have another chance so he does he was wronged he, he was he finish what he started <laughs> um it you you just can't deny the amount of passion that there still is for him it is like it's like 2016 levels of enthusiasm yeah. for this guy the fact that he's he's been able to maintain that you know, I think he's learned a lot of lessons uh, since his yeah. last go around. Um, I, I think it's mostly been in the things he he's not saying. I think he's like he he's he's got better people around him. I think he's got better handlers. He seems more focused. And I'm not even watching everything he's doing. He just seems like less fuck withable this time around. But Anna, you're really the expert. I feel like politically of all of us. What do you think? <laughs> No, yeah, I think that uh, it was time for him to drop out. It was coming. We all knew it. As for him dropping out now, I kind of agree. I thought he was going to try and stay in a little bit longer. But, you know, these things cost money. And we know who was really backing him. We have Israel, all of Israel's money, because he was more than willing in, in the state of Florida to make sure that nobody said anything anti-Semitic, you know, that whole anti-free speech bill that they were working on a while ago. So we know he's backed by all the big ones. Uh, specifically Israel. So, I, you know, he had the money to keep going if he wanted to. But again, it was a losing battle. There's too much passion out there for Trump. So it doesn't surprise me. And I don't think really anybody like it was just mm -hmm. inevitable. He had a horrible campaign team like on social media. And, and they weren't necessarily people I particularly disliked individually. Just the way that it was put together was just a disaster. And how they handled, you know, the backlash for him and, and the comments about how he's betraying Trump just a horrible campaign. And I think he's coming to that realization whether or not he'll say it. Yeah. Some Do of the we... people like speaking for him online, they were very like vicious towards people sometimes for no reason. I'm like, that does not look good for Ron. Like you're making it look bad. Like how some Trump supporters, they make him look insane, but I'm like, don't judge him on that. But yeah, he had people <laughs> like saying stuff online. I'm like, are you actually like working for him? Or are you just saying you are? Because you're super unprofessional if you are working for his campaign. It was weird. So we're looking to blame his sort of social media, what handlers. And ultimately, he's probably not picking any of those people. So what probably we would point not. to his campaign manager. I don't even know who that is, but. I hope I Trump just says he's going to be the VP just to really fuck with everyone. But that's what I thought was going to happen. Like I as much as everybody loves it for me, in my opinion, I don't know a lot, but I was like, I don't know that I think that DeSantis can do this on his own. Like there's he's just not strong. Like he's strong, but he's not strong enough. You know, and you could just see it wear on him, at least in my opinion, like he lost that energy that he had. And then I was with well, they should have just done that from the beginning. It should have been Trump to say this from the beginning. And that's just, I don't know, maybe that would have been a bad thing in the long run, but that probably would have helped poor DeSantis not stress out beyond belief, you know, and that would have gotten both sides rallying behind them. I think that would have been the perfect combo. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see who he ultimately picks for VP. And you wonder if, what looks like on the surface, like almost a mini beef. Like I feel like him and Vivek almost had not quite a yeah. beef, but like they're a little bit talking shit. Him and, you know, he calls Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSanctimonious. They go a little <laughs> bit like kind of, kind of just like dogs, like kind of, kind of, kind of, burying their teeth a little bit. And, you know, is this just the pro wrestling side of politics or do, do you guys think that 
there are any sort of lingering hard feelings or maybe this is just me being a girl and being like oh i hope everyone gets along <laughs> i don't think there should be hard feelings but it's just politics you have to talk shit or yeah, yeah. i mean and i don't think that it's at least for trump i don't know just antes to those guys obviously but i i grew up watching trump on tv and so i think a lot of us did and he just he's not being in corporate new york and then being in politics, like it's all the very but the same thing. So I think a lot of what he says is that wrestling best talking <laughs> crap on stage, kind of, kind of that kind of thing. But I don't, I don't know that all of it is just him like genuinely being hurt and offended. I think a lot for his opponents, especially he he talked like that on The Apprentice, and was like, mm -hmm. "You're never going to yeah. make it in this world because you're a loser," you know, kind of thing. Was it personal? No, it was him calling you out for being kind of a dork or whatever it was. He did that for years. So I don't, I, I don't think a lot of it's personal necessarily i do think that maybe some of it's a little bit got an underlying truth to it because obviously he knows more than we do just watching from the sidelines but but like if trump knew these guys were all ultimately going to drop out it's almost like what is the point of that maybe it is just mm -hmm. kind of like i have the bigger dick i have the firmer handshake i'm giving you a nickname i'm gonna like he really knows how to work the media that maybe they're all in it together that. like it was the plan from the start they're well, like you know what we're gonna run I can but see that. We're, we're gonna yeah drop the whole out. vague thing was weird though because he made t-shirts that was i forget what it said exactly but it said like a vote for me is a vote to save trump or something i thought that was a bizarre campaign strategy because it was almost insulting mm -hmm. like as if like Donald Trump doesn't know what's best for him, that we're here saving him. He he can't save himself. That like Donald Trump's very aware of what he's getting himself into. Like yeah. he knows he's risking his life here. He's not doing it for himself. He's doing it because he sees that, you know, that there is obviously uh, you know, something for the country to benefit from for him being president. And uh, like nobody is, who's running for president is doing it without thinking, oh, I can die. Like even it, especially Donald Trump, obviously, because they're going after him so hard. But like that was insulting. And I, the fact that they were able to come together a little bit after that was actually quite surprising to me, which begs the question, like, you know, what could happen after that? Yeah, right there. Save Trump. Vote what them. in the world? I've never even mm. seen this shirt. Yeah, they really just weird. do things to get attention in media. Like they don't care if it's good or bad. Like I feel like everyone just wants a reaction. They don't care what the reaction is, which is really annoying sometimes, especially on Twitter now because you get paid for these reactions but yeah yeah it's just weird Are somebody it's in the chat weird. saying he didn't approve those a supporter made them mm. i don't know oh really Ooh. that would make more sense yeah, that better. would make more took, sense but he took a picture with okay. them like smiling um, which was like i wouldn't do that if i were him because you're essentially by yeah, doing I that endorsing that. it i'm yeah, probably the minority weird. i didn't see them either civic. Hmm. i don't think he needs saving though but exactly <laughs> i think he's good no you can't be butthurt in politics anyway if you do because someone says something mean about you you should not be in politics like mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. right and if you're not ready one. for everyone to find out that you wear high-heeled boots <laughs> then you should not be in, which i am support yeah. i am a big fan of and i support that always i mean how tall is he why does he have those i didn't even think he's short how tall is DeSantis? let's look at i him. don't know like, is he that short? He's not like Lila. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, just like embrace it, be short. I don't he understand. does not have spina bifida. He's six. Is he six one? Come what? on. Let's see. Oh, no, we have a rumor best? that he has spina bifida. Huh. <laughs> He's well, really hiding it well, that's if that's true. the case. <laughs> he cannot be six one. Why would you wear heels? And those too. Those are like the okay. ugliest ones. Okay. <laughs> Reports about Ron DeSantis' heights have varied widely. A November 23 article by Palm Beach Post said estimates varied anywhere from five foot eight to five foot eleven. The okay, so that's a normal height. Inches. Yeah, that's like and normal. Was his height <laughs> during an appearance on uh, PBD? So, I, I thought he was like about like five nine five ten. Size. Did you guys so guess short. what the? This is a fun <laughs> fact. Guess what the? Average height of U.S. presidents is six hmm. feet. You're close. I think Lincoln was the tallest. It's five eleven. Far. I didn't realize that. Oh really? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know being tall was like a low key requirement of being president. <laughs> That's actually pretty tall too, if you consider like how short people used to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Years ago. 
Well, I mean, running... if you think about it, a, a, a tall height being, you know, you, these guys are running for president and, and a tall height, you know, traditionally in general is like a sign of, you know, he's big, he's bad, he's this, that, and the other. Yeah, we want the big bad guy, you know, the biggest guy on the block to run our country. That makes, you know, yeah. visually speaking, that makes sense. You know, it all started with George Washington. Estimates of George Washington's height range from six foot six to what? six four. Wow. He looks so a, a doctor he's... measured his corpse at six foot three. So even in death, he's. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know he was that well, tall. How tall was yeah. Lincoln? I thought Lincoln was like six. I know six, he had to be he? like eight foot then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know why I think he's six, six, five. Oh my God. Six, four as well. Yeah. Jeepers, so much for Dang. the whole thing about people being shorter back in the day. I'm starting to question but that's everything. The thing is, you need right. to right. energy right. to run for president, and the taller you are, I'm sorry, it's <laughs> it's part of it. I think I did not know that. How interesting that George that was Washington wild. was that tall. That's I thought he was short, like way shorter than yeah. That. I thought that's why we've he all, wore we've that all tall been lied hat. To. Okay, that's let's crazy. see. Now I must know. Who was the shortest president? Do you guys have any guesses without Googling? Wait, um, of who? Shortest U.S. president. Ooh. Roosevelt? Yeah, that no. was there. Yeah. Nixon doesn't. No, not Nixon. Um, Eisenhower? Uh, mm -hmm. It was James I Madison. I was going to guess that. Oh, my gosh. I had that in my head. <laughs> How tall was he? If you look at pictures of him, he, his face look, may, looks like he's short. He was 5'4". I had that in my head. That's so weird. And, Literally mom, short. and then tied hey. for uh, second was Martin Van Buren and mm -hmm. Benjamin Harrison both uh, coming in at 5'6". Hey, they're still taller than me, so kudos to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. 5'4", that's rough. That's an inch taller yeah. than me. No one takes me hey. seriously. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh boy. Crazy. Yeah, it's uh it's gonna be really mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. I I just I wonder I'm gonna try to not be too paranoid, uh, but I can't help but be cautiously anxious about what might be thrown at us, the people. But I think I have when yeah. I get when I get nervous about like, oh God, my bunker is not ready. In fact, I haven't even begun a bunker. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I used to have a whole philosophy about that. I was like, oh, I'm single. I want to find a guy that's got a bunker and an armored vehicle and all the stuff. <laughs> See what and I did then, a president. Yeah. Right? And then land and stuff. But then that whole thing with the railway and the like the environmental like hazardous waste spill happened. And I was like, dang, you could really be as prepared as you can be and something strange like that could happen. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want a bunker. I'm just going to go fight until I die. And I don't want to survive anyway. Like, whatever. <laughs> mm, I'm good. I'll fight till I can't or someone kills me. And then that, that'll be the end of that. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't, I don't have is being the only fans philosopher again. I don't have <laughs> bunker yeah. money. I love no, that. Thanks. Why would I you have to be like stuck in a bunker for like a long time? That's not living to me. I'd rather just go fight and then die. Like, whatever. <laughs> that doesn't like even if there was like a nuclear apocalypse i don't want to live through that shit why would you want to do that especially if it's good if it's gonna melt my skin and make me yeah, ugly, i, I might as well that. die because yeah. i don't want to try no nope. <sighs> it's gonna be hard enough out here if you yeah survive it's, exactly. a nuclear it's hard Holocaust, enough like I don't and do you don't that, have your dude. face you gotta compete with everybody who's still got their face no yeah <laughs> sorry i'm good on that <laughs>